In this video I will be casting a set of welding squares that will come in handy for the big upcoming project. The patterns are cut out of extruded polystyrene foam and of course who doesn't like to see their logo on the thing they're casting. For the mold I'm using sodium silicate mixed with the finest mesh sand I could buy at the hardware store. For the ratio of sodium silicate to sand mixture I've seen and read others using anywhere from 70 to 100 grams of sodium silicate per kilogram of sand. In this case I was mixing 85 grams of sodium silicate per kilogram of sand. But I'm still experimenting on the right ratio of the mixture. You can mix the molding sand by eye or feel. That's what I did before, but if you have to mix multiple batches and the ratios are not the same, you can actually see in the casting surface where the texture changes. One of the advantages of using sodium silicate is that it immediately hardens when exposed to CO2 gas, making it rock solid. Another advantage is that the molds can be handled pretty roughly. That's why I can use patterns without a draft angle, though it is much more difficult to get pattern out. I also made a new siphon burner, here I'm running it on diesel, but it can use any fuel. I wasn't quite happy how it ran, it needs quite some adjusting, but it got the job done. I tried to measure the temperature with an infrared thermometer, but the surface of the aluminum is too reflective and it gives a false reading. 
So if I want to measure the temperature of the molten aluminum before casting, I need to make a submersible pyrometer. For me this is the most exciting part, breaking up the mold and seeing if we have a successful casting. When breaking up the second mold, I wasn't quite sure if I had a successful casting. I thought that I poured it too cold, because the second riser didn't fill up to the top. Luckily everything filled, and there were no defects.
Next I cut off the gating system, surfaced the top, squared up the sides, sanded everything and used some black paint to muddy the surface of the aluminum so it's easier to film. The welding squares are not quite finished yet because I need to drill and tap holes for alignment tabs as I don't have a drill press and I don't even know if I need those tabs, I'll leave that for later. With that thanks for watching and you'll see me on the next video.